thank you MSR for ruining my life with another 4K OLED screen. Thank you so much. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tools Tech. If you're new here, I'm recently four piece for Anti Walker Triple XL. And yes, the Star 16 AMG Edition is here to ruin my day because, oh, man, it is a nice notebook for the on the go, let's say, multimedia individual that also likes to verpe. If you are from the international audience and you don't know what that is, it gives a demonstration. We very much like cars in South Africa, and so this is right down our alley. They've made a complete AMG-styled notebook with all the nice little racing touches, even in places you wouldn't expect in one of their nicer chassis, the Stealth 16, with this 4K 60 Hertz OLED experience on top of it. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's go through what's in the box, because it comes with actually quite a lot of package stuff. Even I've got to say, this is a first. There's even a postcard so that you can flex on your mates by saying to them that I bought a notebook of this kind of expense. Um, yep, and then send them a postcard with that on it, which is kind of crazy to me. But a lot of the other stuff is actually quite nice. It comes with this very, very nice microfiber lens type cloth for cleaning all the surfaces and this absolutely beautiful 4K. 60 hertz OLED panel. It comes with a nice little carry bag as well. So you can slap like the mouse and then the charger and stuff into the sucker over here. And then like I say, it comes with an AMG specific mouse over here. Nothing to write home about, but it's still just cool that it's got all the AMG branding on it. Obligatory RGB as well, of course. If it didn't have RGB, would it be a gaming type product? And the answer is pretty much no. Um, it has to have that, I think. Uh, a nice little mouse pad as well with braided edges again with a super, super silky speed cloth over here. And then even like a spare uh, holder or a spare Velcro strap, which I, I, you can see this has one. And then the charger has one on itself. So this is a spare that was just there in the box. So if you've got other stuff that you need to strap down, then it even comes with an extra one of those. But then we have the laptop itself. And the Style 16 is finished in such a way that it could only be called premium. It's very thin and light for its size and its performance. It's even able to game on this panel. So yeah, it's no slouch. But physically, the setup is thusly. There is a little pinhole camera in the top over here, and it's got a little slider over there so you can close and open that then shutter over the front of the camera lens, which is super, super sick. Left-hand side, you got a bunch of ports, including the weird looking USB over there, which is actually for the power. Then you've got a vent on that side over there, as well as the Type-C, and then your headphone jack. The battery indicator as well, in case you needed to know without having the laptop on. Nice little touch. Then on the right-hand side, you've got the RJ45 connection and HDMI, an SD card reader, and then another Type-C. So big focus on the Type-C, which is a good thing with these laptops because then it lets you hook it up to docks and have other uh, extended monitors, etc. off of that. The keyboard and touchpad are incredibly nicely finished. It's one of the SteelSeries chiclet type styles with a nice little numpad on the far right for those of us who are doing Excel and those sort of punching in. It's always nice to have that. I particularly like the power button. It's been replaced with a start engine button just to keep that automotive style going. The touchpad as well is enormous and absolutely fantastic. It's super accurate, multi-touch, all of the right things that I want to see. Then quite sneakily over here is actually the fingerprint reader on the far right over there. And it's almost like unseen like that. On the left hand side, you may have noticed there it says NVIDIA GeForce RTX Studio. That's because it's been set up like that to be kind of like a studio slash gaming laptop in between. And as I've alluded to with this 4K 60 OLED screen, it has some of the best color reproduction you're gonna find. And it's no slouch in the performance category because this comes with the 13900H from Intel as well as the RTX 4078 gig. And thanks to things like DLSS and frame generation, you're gonna get even 70, 60 or 70 FPS 
with settings maxed out in games like Cyberpunk. We also tested RDR2. Unfortunately, that doesn't go to the resolution over here, which was kind of weird. But even Metro, I managed to get like 50 FPS on the extreme settings with <laughs> extreme ray tracing. And that sucker doesn't even have DLSS3 and frame generation. But for newer titles, you're going to have that. And then you're probably going to look at 60 FPS gaming even with settings maxed out. So it can game even off of its native resolution. I was a little bit worried about that 8 gig video memory, but it turned out to not really be a problem. Then, like I said, the 13900H. That sucker can do things like, well, thump a first gen Threadripper now in a laptop space. So you've got a proverbial server on the go over here. To enhance that media capability, they've put in one of the fastest Wi-Fi cards we've ever tested. It actually tested faster than anything else I've run so far. Uh, on the continuous transfer test, as well as the speed test, it pretty much maxed out my line. So it's doing its job there absolutely fantastically. And if that wasn't good enough, then it does have a gigabit Ethernet port as well. The storage is also extremely fast. It got very, very good rating over there. So your boot times, what boot times? There's no such thing on a laptop like this. You turn it on and there's not even time to put the coffee in your cup, never mind pour it. To enhance that multimedia experience even further, they've put the DIN audio speakers into the sucker. So even the built-in speakers are pretty fantastic. The onboard sound card is very, very strong as well. You should be able to drive, I would say, up to about 100, maybe 150 ohm headphones from the notebook itself. Now, all of that needs to be kept cool, and that's why they've done really good work on the underside. There are rubber pads to make sure that it's standing up off of the table so that those fans, which you'll see pictured, can then pull the heat through and make sure or pull air through to wick the heat out the back of the laptop. And they've done a good job of making sure that the hotspots are right at the top of the keyboard over here. WASD and your default gaming keys and stuff are actually quite unaffected, even though M and MSI has told me this is not really angled as a gaming notebook. It's supposed to be an ultra premium sort of uh, office laptop. And I mean, with the ability to go completely flat on the monitor, it's the idea in general over here from what I can see. The MSI Center software is also incredibly well done on this variant. It has a full hard max switch, so you can turn on it just the discrete GPU or just the iGPU or leave it in the auto mode. If you leave it in the auto mode, you get pretty much the, obviously the best of both worlds. It's the same with the AI setting. It does once again, however, in case you need it, have the quick cooler boost. This is something I love about these laptops. Literally one button and there you go. You have cooler boost enabled which is quite a nice touch to have, especially if you need to do some quick rendering out of Adobe or something to that effect. You've got full monitoring in the software. You've got the entire suite that you would normally get with MSI Premium motherboards. They've imported it into the chassis and then obviously made it look and feel like that. Now, all of these features and functions don't come without a little bit of tax. It is very AMG in look, feel, and price. I mean, there's even an AMG on the bottom right-hand side with the MSI on the bottom left on the other side of the laptop, just in case you were wondering. I mean, it's got AMG embossed pretty much on every single surface. And the price tag also kind of demands that it's 63,000 Rand. But you are getting one of the best notebooks you can get in this type of size because like it says with this beautiful stealth on the back middle over here, it is incredibly light for that sort of performance. So you're getting server-like performance at that price point. I just don't think obviously it's going to be for everybody. Not everybody's going to want to spend this on a laptop for this kind of spec specification. And yes, you can get it cheaper, although in bigger chassis with worse monitors, etc., etc. This is ultra premium. It's the ultra, ultra, ultra premium. And I don't see you fitting a 4080 with the wattage demands that that carries into this size chassis. So this is pretty much the peak of what you can get at this size. And that's the idea with AMG as well, isn't it? They are going for that 
uber ultra over the top motorsport type effect and it can make use of that power the fact that i can get in the upper ranges of what you would normally see with notebooks like this in firestrike it was on the upper end for this type of specification so even though it's put into one of the smaller chassis with a specification the performance really speaks for itself you're buying it for that that convenience and that performance on the go and for the 4k screen it's not by any means like reasonable in any facet as far as that goes. But if you want to be cool, then an AMG cool, then come on, man, just look at it. At least the performance matches the price point and it hasn't been gimped to get it into the size of chassis. I kind of like that. Everything does feel like that ultra premium. It, it, it will thump a Mac, especially with this monitor. The monitor is, it's kind of, life like ruining in a way because it's 16 by 10 on 4k as well so you know it's uh, got a little bit of extra pixels because it's slightly longer than the six obviously the 16 by 9 ratio so yeah it's going to be slightly taller as well it's just you know it's a little bit of a kill on 63 000 and if you noticed on the bottom though it does have only four screws to take off that so it up easy upgrading and stuff is implied so, yeah, if you got AMG money and you were spending, I think, two what, plus million rand on a car, then spending this amount of money on a laptop is really kind of a drop in the bucket, isn't it? Anywho, that is all I have for you on this ridiculous laptop from MSI. I kind of like that they just sometimes in brands just go hell to leather, right? And they just go, let's just do the most insane thing that we can do. And well done, MSI, because this is probably mental. As I say, uh, if you've enjoyed this review, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.